Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show where we talk about tabletop RPGs! Uh, now again, we've got, uh, we've got a very cool backdrop that's uh, sent by Jeff Brown, who just started a Patreon today. Now, of course, this is tape delay, so you you, you may be watching this, and his Patreon may already be making him like $6,000 per painting drawing thing, but for now, I'm in the basement. This is the first day, so uh, you should totally check it out on Patreon, and you can search for Jeff Brown. Uh, but that's enough about that. Uh, we have uh, we have very excited from, uh, from Third Eye Games, we have Aloy Lasanta. How are you, Aloy? Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm good. Oh, now, now I I understand uh, that things are really heating up, and that the third eye can sense it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's 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 really. Uh, we had a bunch of third eye, uh, third eye blind jokes, but they we weren't entirely sure that everyone would get them. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were gonna go with like third eye gams, and like if I have like a third eye on my legs. I wasn't sure if that was a thing. Thir third eye gams is. Man, that that's a good one. We we should totally redo it. You know, there was a there was a Eye of Sauron being the third eye joke. Do you think that's better? Um, let's if if the Eye of Sauron can be on my leg, that'll work out. All right. So Sauron legged eye alloy. Uh, now, no, I I understand that you have, uh, you have a ton of game. You're really prolific. And, I and why? What's wrong with you that you make so many games? We can't keep up. <laughs> um, I, I'd like to think that it's more of a what's right with me, um, but it, it's it's just I, my brain is hyperactive. I can't really stay on one thing for too long. Um, so, you know, I come up with one game and I come up with another and another. Um, good stuff, though. I mean, people seem to enjoy it, so. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, which, which, which one's your favorite of all the games that you've made? Which one's your personal favorite? Well, I mean, I would say that um, any time that you would ask me, I would say that my favorite is the latest. So right now, my favorite is Ampere 1, uh, being that that's my latest game that I've released. Um, and it's really, really good, and it's my Supers game, and who doesn't love Supers? Well, well Supers are pretty awesome, especially, you know, we, we have, like, the Frog God of Thunder is pretty awesome. You could totally play that in Ampere 1, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you there was a dramatic pause. What are there no <laughs> frog variant rules? What what is going on? There are no frog variant rules, but of course you can you can take shape shifting to turn yourself into a frog, and then take the drawback that makes it continuous power. So then you're just always a frog. Um, so yes, you can do that. I I think you've you've resolved my concern. So I appreciate that. <laughs> You've got Ampere One, so what's in the hopper next? Because you are always, you've, you've got one thing up and then the left hand has already <laughs> got a thing. So what's next for you? Um, well, we have Ampere Two that's coming out. That's that's definite. Um, we have Apocalypse Prevention Inc. Second Edition, and that's gonna be the big release for this year. Um, as well as a bunch of smaller releases. We have another, we have a part-time Gods of Fate uh, book coming out. So it's the part-time Gods game, but converted to Fate. Uh, core rules, um, just tons of stuff. I'm I'm working on like three other brand new games that I'm trying to keep under my hat for a while until um, they're ready for the public to kind of see. Well, yeah, but I would imagine with that hair, it's got to be a big hat. Something's got to slip out here. <laughs> well, you know, I actually grew my hair out because hats don't work for me. Um, I've just never been a hat person. Like, you know, you, you know those people that they put on a hat and you're like, oh, man. Like, that hat looks so good on you. Like, I've just never been that kind of guy. So I was like, I'll just go with the hair. You, you mentioned Apocalypse, Pre uh, uh, oh my goodness, Apocalypse Prevention Incorporated. Have you ever thought about doing like a, an Apocalypse Prevention Incorporated Mermaid Adventures mashup? I mean, like a G-rated Waterworld, but hopefully better. I mean, it could, I mean, it'd have to be better than Waterworld. Um, I, I could totally see something like that. There actually are mermaids in um, the API setting. Uh, but they're not anywhere near as nice as the mermaids of Mermaid Adventures. Huh. Well, that 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 is a problem. Yeah, yeah, that that probably wouldn't work out so much. I noticed in Mermaid Adventures you don't really have any like half frogs. Why is that? Um, funny enough, we're coming out with Toad Folk 
that will be out in the next book for Mermaid Adventures. So they weren't in the core book, but they are coming. I mean, because it's definitely something that needs to exist. I'm so happy to hear that. I, I can't believe I just scooped Told Folk. That's the greatest thing I've heard all day long. It is pretty cool, and I and I promise, like I'm not making that up here. Like it's already written and then edited, and it's going to be going into layout here soon. So it's already done. Gosh, my my mind is blown. This is <laughs> all right. Well, enough talk about games. I've got a serious question for you, Loy. I've got a serious question. Are okay. you ready? I am. All right. Hold on. Are you sure you're ready? You look sort of ready. Oh no, I'm I'm like ninety five percent ready. Okay, well, what is it going to take to get you to 100%, Eloy? I think you have to actually ask the question. All right, I can do that. I, 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 here, here we go. If you were an anime character, which weapon would you use, Eloy? Oh, wow. Um, I think I would use uh, a, a Bakken. That's the wooden sword. Because it's the kind that you can totally beat up on somebody, but then you don't have to actually kill them. Oh. That's, uh, for a second, I thought you said a Boffin. Because <laughs> they did, they would always die every time you would use it. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. Going the opposite, the opposite direction of that. I'm going with a Bakken, uh, B O K K E N, if I recall the spelling correctly. So not the '80s metal band Dokken with a D. No, no. Although it would be interesting to wield them like a weapon. I think that would be, if you pardon Raphael Chandler, kind of metal. <laughs> Agreed. Well, I tell you, Aloy, I just I'm always so excited by Third Eye Games stuff, and and I just appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, thanks for coming on the Doctor Tom the Frog show. Uh, thank you for having me, Doctor Tom. I've been a big fan for a long time. You just watched the Doctor Tom the Frog show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time. Well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. Frog, frog folk, told, you can call them frog folk, because then it's alliterative, just so you know. Oh, it, is that better? Frog folk besides uh, to toad folk? Let's see, look over there. Does that say Dr. Tom the Toad? No. I'm just, I'm just saying, hey, it's up to you. You said it's already written, but it's something. It is, about. but I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty easy fix. Well, we'll see. We'll see what ends up in the final cut. Nice. <laughs> Keep my eyes peeled.